I've been getting downloads on why my ex treated me the way that he treated me. And it's because he's jealous of me. He wishes he could be in my shoes. And you're probably like, girl, what? I'm going to spill the tea. When I first met my ex, he was a man. You know, he presented as a man. Our first date, he looked like a man. He paid for the date like a man. But after I was dealing with him for a couple of weeks, he started to let me know that he likes to wear bras and female panties, like basically lingerie under his clothing. And then one time I remember hugging him and he had on foundation. And the reason why I knew because he didn't blend it properly. But at first I thought he had like a tan or something. No. And then I remember looking into his eyes and he had on mascara. And then he started to tell me that sometimes he thought he was a woman and he's thought about, you know, hormone therapy. And I'm like, wait, look, I didn't sign up for this, but I was feeling bad for him because remember I told y'all he tells me sob stories. Everybody leaves him. And he told me how this one girl he was proposed to or engaged, whatever he proposed or whatever. And when he told her this, she called it off and didn't want to be with him apparently. Right. So. Me, being a trans person, I remember when I came out, people stopped talking to me. The people that I thought were my friends or whatever, they don't talk to me, right? I lost friends. So that side of me was like, oh, I remember how that felt. So let myself get into the pity game with him. So I'm over here thinking, it's okay, it's okay, you know, trying to encourage him to wear his bras and his makeup or whatever. Even though I do not like this shit, me... I identify as a female, you know, I'm trans. I like men. I like men that ride motorcycles, that cut the grass, that sweats, armpit hair, facial hair, you know, boxers, you know, manly jobs, military or like a car repairman or, you know, outdoor construction, you know, road work, whatever, like a man. And he didn't tell me this. So side note, this is for the people that got this far. If you are a woman, how the fuck would you feel if you were dating a guy that looks like a man and then he tells you some shit like this? You know, side note, put that in the comments. But anyways, and I feel like that's why he watches me on social media because it's like he's trying to see me like fall or to see like where I'm going with this, you know, because I even said this, why the fuck would he just disrespect me? Like, you know, I'm trans, right? So why would you say my hands feel like a man? You don't want to hold my hands. That's like me basically saying, I don't want to hug you because your bra is poking me. Feels like I'm hugging a bitch, you know, like bitch, I'm a Sagittarius. So when you throw rocks at me and I knock that bitch out into a home run on a baseball field, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? But I feel like this download has been coming to me. And then this video popped up. Listen to this. Why do they watch you? These people watch you because there is something about you. There is something that you carry. And typically, the thing that's within you and the thing that you carry is something that the people who are secretly watching you lack. And I feel like that's why he's watching. Because why would you say the things that you say if you are a straight man or you're a man, right? And I feel like the reason why God also removed him out of my life, because that's a Caitlyn Jenner, sweetie. That man is probably going to go marry a woman, live this false life, and then when he's older, become a fucking woman. That's so humiliating. Just imagine trying to tell your friends and your family some shit like this. You know, my friends would be like, girl, what are you? What is going on over there? You know, like, and I feel like this what it is because what's going on? And also, I'm the ultimate supply. What girl was going to let him do some shit like that? Wear bras and, you know, makeup and shit because he already told me everybody left. One girl called off the engagement, remember? But here I am. Oh, it's okay. Trying to be nice. But I feel like the reason why he treated me the way that he did is because he was jealous of me. And I also feel like he probably purposely looked for a trans person so he could live this fantasy. Because like I asked you guys earlier, what woman is doing some shit like that? Letting their man 
walk around with bras and shit. And like I said, he's, you know, military. And when I say this stuff, I'm not trying to humiliate him. I'm literally telling you the experience of what it was like and what it, how I felt. You know, I didn't want to hurt his feelings at the time. But deep down, like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know, and I know I wouldn't be the only one because I like men. But I allowed his sob stories, his pity to make me sweep it to the side. But like, that's why I used to look at other guys at times, like, or like, you know, want to flirt with other guys because bitch, I'm like, but he's a girl. Like, you know, he, he wasn't like a man. Like he doesn't, he doesn't wear boxers, you know, he's wearing pink or black or whatever color underwear with a bra, like, you know, like. Ugh, bitch and I know when he's stalking me and he probably sees this shit like you know thinking oh my god that's how she really felt like you know because I'm not a fucked up person you know I'm trying to be understanding but like I said that's why God removed him from me like that girl that he's probably with now just imagine they have kids and they get married and he tells her one day I'm a girl like she would feel her like humiliated for real that's a white girl blonde like she would be fucking humiliated and I feel like this is what it is. And that's why he's so angry at women or he's angry at people because he's not able to live his truth. And he's just mad until he finally comes out and he lives his truth as a woman. Because remember when I told you he got stationed overseas and he was leaving San Diego, he gave me this bag of things he didn't want. It was a wig. It was a dress and it was makeup. Was he over there dressing up fully when he was alone? I'm over there thinking my boyfriend's playing video games, chilling. No, she's over there playing video games and chilling. You know, like, what? Is that why he's so angry and he's mean to women especially? Because he really wants to live that life? You know, just think. He has to pretend to be a Caucasian man in America. Macho. He joined the Marines. I'm a Marine. I'm a man. But really, it's a female and they can't live their truth. Because then even one time he told me when his brother told him, don't be going to Japan dealing with them trannies. So that lets me know his background, what his family's like. They're probably closed minded. So he can't be him. He has to pretend and he's dying on the inside. So really, I was never the problem. It was never me. It's him. Me being me, what he wants to be, the truth. And then I'm allowing him to do this. That's how I became the ultimate supply. Because I allow him to dress up. Because the other ones ain't doing that. I know that for a fact. He's probably pretending to be this straight guy. Still. Sneaking behind her back in a bra. Like, you know. Just. I can just. Because. Let me say this. If he was doing that shit with me, I'm pretty sure he's still doing it. That's not something that you just snap out of and you just wake up. I'm pretty sure he's still doing this, you know. But gives you something to think about.